Hello and warm welcome to you all to Talk English in this new video. أهلا ومرحبا بكم جميعا متابعي قناة Talky English في هذا الفيديو الجديد. Which or that? What's the difference? Hey guys, so we use that with something called a defining clause. What are defining clauses? You might ask. Defining clauses are information that are added to the sentence which are essential or very important to make the sentence more meaningful or uh, solid, if we may say. Let me give you an example. My bike that has a broken seat is in the garage. My bike that has a broken seat is in the garage. So I'm talking about a specific bike here that I own which has a broken seat. I might own other bikes, but I'm talking about a very specific bike that has a broken seat, which is in the garage. Do you understand? Now, on the other hand, we use which with something called a non-defining clause. A non-defining clause are information uh, which are added to the sentence, but they are not very important or they are not essential to the sentence. They are just Uh, supplementary or extra information that are added to the sentence to make it more uh, coherent or yeah something like that so let me give you an example my bike which has a broken seat is in the garage my bike which has a broken seat is in the garage so the way to differentiate between a defining and non-defining clause is that with a non-defining clause we find the phrase often separated by a comma. So, my bike, comma, which has a broken seat, comma, is in the garage. So, the summary of this whole uh, lesson is that we use that with defining clause when we are talking about uh, information that are essential to the sentence, and we use which with non-defining clause. It means that we use which when we want to add um, uh, a bit of supplementary or a bit of extra information to the sentence to make it more coherent or to convey it to the uh, listener. All right. I hope this was uh, clear enough for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will try to answer as much and as fast as I possibly can, inshallah. Also, don't forget to support me by hitting that heart. Give me that heart and follow button and I will see you guys inshallah in the next lesson or in the next expression or in the next video. All right. Take care of yourselves, guys. Salam alaikum. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was useful and you've got something from it. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And if you like this content, please click subscribe and show us your support by clicking that like button and activating that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Shukran li mushahadatikum hadha video In kanat ladaykum mayyatu asila, rajaan itrahuwa fi taliqat. La tansaw idhara damikum lana. باشتراككم في القناة، إعجابكم بالفيديو، وتفعيلكم لزر الجرس لتتوصلوا بأحدث الفيديوهات فور رفعها.